Creating something for nothing is in black America's DNA. As enslaved African families were torn apart, their musical traditions continued to cultivate all genres of American music. Slave Code of South Carolina, Article 36, written in 1740 reads, It is absolutely necessary to the safety of this province that all due care be taken to restrain Negroes from using or keeping drums. In the 1700s, drums were banned in plantations and a new form of resistance was created. That resistance was creating new instruments and singing. Negro spirituals developed into what we know as rag. By 1899, ragtime rose to national popularity through composer and pianist Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag. That same year, the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, was completed by brothers James and John Johnson. At the turn of the century, blackness was on the move with the migration of African Americans from the South to Midwest and North. This time, the sound transformed to blues. There is no American music culture without black America. As we step into July, remember who we are.